Hi, my name is Franklin from Wasatu International. In this video, I will be showing you how to use our latest model, the YCCAT connector. The YCCAT connector is a connector that connects directly to the ICCAT catalog. ICCAT catalog is an online catalog with all the technical information for many, many products. It covers almost 90% of the products in the market. In order to use this model, you have to go to the Models tab. There in the Models tab you will find the Wasato Model section. And there you, ha there you have it, Wasato Model for the ICCAT catalog. In this video we will be using the Pro version number 1.3. Well, now to use the model just click on Configure. Well, here is the model. You can see it has 6 tabs. Update tab, Search tab, Import tab, Accessories, Search Engine Optimization tab and Configuration tab. These first two tabs are for update your products that are already on the store. The third tab is for importing products that you don't have on the store. Accessories is to make the relationship within accessories from products that you have installed on the stores. Oh well, see you, you know, it's the optimization tab. This is the first time you're using this model. Well, you have the first thing you have to do is go to configuration and insert your user and password. The user and password from your ICCAT catalog. It is important you are inscribed as XML user because this is the time or the kind of um, language that uh, we are using to import the products. Another important thing you have to do before importing products or updating products is to import this in, and to update these two tabs. In reload information we have information about the manufacturers and about the categories. The manufacturers is the list of manufacturers that are available on the ICCAT catalog. Depending on open ICCAT or full ICCAT, this is the way of manufacturers that you will have. To update the manufacturers, you just have to go and click Update Manufacturers. It will download the whole list of new manufacturers. It is important to do this process at least twice or once a month because manufacturers are coming and going so in, the, in that way you can have a, a complete list whole time. This update manufacturer doesn't mean that it is imported into your PrestaShop installation. If you want to import any manufacturer to your PrestaShop installation you can click it or select it here from this list and just press import manufacturer. You can as well select them all if you want. If it's not the case, just continue to the next step. Now we're going to update the categories. The categories will be updated and imported in the default language of your PrestaShop installation. If it's in English, in English. If it's in French, in French. ICCAT has a huge list of languages that are used. In this case, we have an English default configuration. So let's update it and it will be updated in English. Well, you see now we have the complete list of uh, categories. This is the complete list, the same list that you will have in the ISACAD website. Another option we have here is that we can relay categories with each other. These are the store categories, PrestaShop categories. In this case, we do have this tree because it's this default categories that comes with the installation folder. But you can have many more and relate them. The only useful thing of relating categories that you can use two categories in order to import product from ICCAT otherwise you can always use the ICCAT categories to do the importation we have this option here that will make always it will relate categories between the both automatically every time you update the product or every time you import the product if you don't want it to do that just untick this so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import some products just go into the import tab as you see here, we have the Installed Languages option, and we have three lists from where we can choose from where we want to import products. We have a daily update, products on market, and complete list. Daily updates contains just products that are updated by this day and the new products that are from that day. The products on market is a more complete list. It has all the products that are on the market, and then we have the third option, the complete list that has all the products that are and were on the market. So for this example we're going to use the daily updates. 
As we don't have any related categories still, we are going to select the ICCAD categories. From there, let's choose, well, we can choose anyone who wants, just computers, for example. As you see, it's looking in computers, uh, the whole list of uh, fellows that are on that list. That list has 1,387 products available. From where we can choose whatever we want, we can choose by manufacturer, or we can choose them all. If you see here, we choose them all, but we can untick some of them and will be less. You see, HP has a lot of products. So, let's see how many products and the kind of product that comes with this. As you see, this is the complete list and we can import all of these products. So, we have some more options here. From that information, from that product, we can import the images. We can make the C optimization at the same time. We can update or import, in this case, the features. And we can do it in all languages. Why in all languages? There are many stores, it depends on the country or where your market is. They are in different languages. In this, if it's your case, you just have one language on your store, you just untick this because it, traced, it takes three times longer. In my case, I will do it on all languages. The language that will be the import it will be the language you select here. Then we have uh, this option, the ICCAD category. It means that it will be imported in the same order that it is in ICCAD category. We will do it this way because we don't have categories. Or, if we want, we can choose where to put them in any of the categories we have. But it was quite it is quite useful useful if it's a new store because you will create new categories and then you can work with them. You can rename it, you can put in different order, you can do whatever you want. And it's, if it's a, spoon, uh, a new store, it saves you a lot of time. So let's do some imports. Let's just random choose some products here and see what happens, whatever, and just click import. Now we'll begin the import of these products. As it's the first time, it will be taking a bit longer because it has to import the manufacturer, it has to import the categories, it has to import the features, and it will do it in each language. The next time, you will do it go faster and faster and faster. Another option we have with these import products is a login. We have a small log here where we can see all the products that have been imported with all this necessary information. It's quite useful if you want to keep a track or make a statistic about this. Well, now we have some imported products. We finish finished. Imported five product, four products, and we can see what happens. If we click on the store categories, we see there is a new category here. It's just imported in just what just created in your store. And inside that category, we have different more categories, children categories. Then you can rename them. You can do whatever you want with them. And, as it is already related, we can look for products inside these categories. If we click on this, it will be looking for point of sale terminals. As I told you before, it's quite useful for new stores. Now that we have products, we can make updates of these products. Let's choose to see everything. If you have a huge amount of products, it will be most useful to sell it by category or manufacturer because it's much, much easier and you will not lose so much time. In this case, we can choose Ashpay. You see? We just select all and we can do the update. As you see, it's almost the same kind of uh, information that we can import. We have the chart description, line description, images, search engine optimization, features, all languages and name. But I will recommend you that before doing any update, you configure your search engine optimization because if you don't configure it before then you are going to do it afterwards and be by, like doing twice the same work there's a lot of information of Google about how to do search engine optimization look for it and you will know how to do it and how to add this I uh, will not lose any time to explain you what is search engine optimization the only thing I can tell you here that you can choose the language you want to make the search engine optimization. You can choose in which category. You can select some default keywords to be added, and you can add your own keywords. For example, key one, key 
2 or whatever you want to write down then you can add the meta description and we as well we have some default information here and you can add your own words as you wish we added product name, category name, stories, short description, the same by meta title, the same by friendly URL and the tags for your internal indexation and then just save it you have to do it by each language differently and you have the option that you can save it in all your children categories after doing that you save your CSS and YouTube TV, then you can do the updates you, by doing the update you have to click update the same as the import we make as well a log that we can take a, keep a track of all the posts that have been updated in this case in this case we are updating in all three languages of the three installed language by default by PrestaShop but you if you do it just by one language it will be much much faster if we, if we check out the log the update log you see everything was successfully updated but for example let's check out the this tree incorporated that's nothing to do with this will be have an error because manufacturer doesn't exist and it's not a real product so that's what ICCAT is telling us this side vendor doesn't exist the second option we have we can look for products here we can look by ID for example we can look one of these let's check out here update and see what we have let's put everything products let's look for this product by ID 28 this search is like an advanced search that we have the option to search for more products as you see here we have two places we have a search table and update table from the search table we can add it to the update table and from there on we can update why? because sometimes we want to look for one product I need to update this product and we want to make a list of updating products we don't just want to select update all from HP update all from Sony update anything like that but we, have to, we want to choose what products we want to update so we can create this list by looking for the products here let's look for this other product by manf by reference let's, let's copy this search, in this case we're going to choose reference search and there we have it, so uh, let's add it to the list and same as before, just click update while updating, I'll show you here we have also the same options like looking by manufacturer, by category or by the last updates, less than one month, two months, or have never been updated. So you can you have all these options. Uh, but the last point I will want to show you accessories. Accessories just want is a way to relate all your products and your store. There are many products, for example, computers that they have like accessories like bags, batteries, memories, or all the things. Well, Isaacat gives you also the option that you can relate all these products. So we add this option here if you want to do it. We just you just have to in this case you can select whatever you want here to to add to this uh, you, you want to say I want to relate all the HP products and just click update and it will make the relation between all the products and mostly that's all the functions from the from this model as you can see there is a lot of things that you can do with this model if you can any questions or you want to use this model please contact us at wasato.net uh, thank you very much